about 1.30 in the afternoon, I got a call on my cell phone from a friend of Sarah's and uh, asking Sarah's condition. And I, I didn't know what she was talking about. She said, Sarah is in critical condition at Robert Wood Johnson Hospital. We called the hospital and they said they had an unidentified female uh, at the hospital. Sarah's law is a law that will create a database within the Division of Motor Vehicles that law enforcement will be able to access. To be created and with information supplied by individuals as to who they would want contacted. So if you have a driver's license now, you're going to be able to submit names and those names will appear on a record that only the police will be able to access. So should something happen, police would be able to understand who to contact in a case of an emergency to let family and friends know. We weren't contacted, so she had no family there. Uh, there was no one to speak for her. Uh, there was no one to be with her from the family. Uh, and she uh, had lapsed into a coma and um, from which she didn't revive. And uh, that's something that is a large part of the nightmare that is now our lives knowing that we weren't there for Sarah at that point when she needed us most. And the family goes through every day the what ifs, had they gotten there sooner, had they been there by their daughter's side. This will prevent those type of very unfortunate situations from happening again.